Previously, we have looked at full backups for backing up data on a computer, which backed up everything on the system. Today, we're going to look at partial backups, which include differential and incremental backups. Partial backups are used to save time and resources, and they do this by only backing up data that has changed since the last full backup. When this uh, data is backed up, it obviously is a lot faster because we are not backing up as much data. It also takes less resources off the network because we don't have to back up every single um, server backing up data. Okay, some directories are still available for users to complete their work. Okay, there are essentially two types of partial backups, differential and incremental backup. Firstly is a differential backup, and this basically backs up everything since the last full backup to a secondary location. If there has been a differential backup that has already been done since the last full backup, the more recent differential backup will cancel the previous differential out. So if we're going to take a look at this, if this was the order of my backups, I've done a full backup and then I've done differential backup one, differential backup two, and differential backup three. In order to restore my system, I obviously need the full backup, but I only need differential backup three, okay? Because that covers everything that has been backed up since the last full backup. So as time goes on since the full backup, I'm gradually increasing the amount I need to back up with my differential backups. So hopefully then I'd soon do another full backup on the system because eventually it's going to take more and more time to do these differential backups. But all I need is the last full backup and the latest differential backup. The next type of backup for a partial backup is an incremental backup. An incremental backup differs because it just backs up everything since the last incremental backup or full backup. Okay, so it takes into account that other backups have been done in between the last full backup and the current incremental backup. So here, once again, is the order of my backups, my full, incremental one, two, and three. In order to make sure I restore everything to my system, I actually need every single backup, incremental one, incremental two, and incremental three. So it's important to record that backups do get marked. So if we look at these two side by side, differentials do everything since the last full backup, incrementals do everything since the last full or incremental backup. Okay, when recovering the backup files, all I need is basically the last full and the last differential for a differential backup. And for an incremental, I need every incremental backup that has taken place since the last full backup. In a differential backup, the files are not as uh, marked as backed up, whereas they are in an incremental backup. And basically, a differential backup will take longer, but only one partial backup is needed for the restore along with the full backup. And in an incremental backup, it's faster since the backups are, are much smaller, but I need multiple backups in order to do a proper system re uh, restore. So I hope you understand the difference between the two type of partial backups that we can use for our system backups.